talk about our sense organs as doorways to the brain for environmental information. So to kind of carry this along, for example, the nose is the doorway to the brain for olfactory information, but smelling occurs in the brain. The eyes are the doorway to the brain for visual information, but seeing occurs in the brain. And the ears are the doorway to the brain for sound, but hearing occurs in the brain. Now, when we say sound, what we really mean is auditory information, knowledge. In order for the brain to receive auditory information from our talking, from music, from any environmental sounds, that auditory, that raw auditory information is picked up by our ear doorway and sent to the brain through a trans transduction network that changes this raw, vibratory, acoustic event into chemo and neuroelectric transmission that can be interpreted by the brain and learn to impart meaning. And what hearing loss is, therefore, is a problem in this doorway transmission route. Something is in Repeating auditory data, this raw information from the environment, from getting to the brain. And it could be fluid in the ears, it could be a sensory neural hearing loss, any number of, of problems in this doorway. And the purpose of technology, of hearing aids, of cochlear implants, bone anchor devices, remote microphone systems, is to breach this doorway to deliver the highest fidelity possible auditory information to the brain. Now, as good as these doorway devices are, they are not perfect replicas of an intact doorway. That's why we have to enrich the auditory information that gets to the brain. And those auditory devices must be worn at least 10 to 12 hours a day to give the brain enough enriched information to develop neural pathways and the figurative data files of information.